Subscribe to this YouTube channel please and enjoy watching the video, here we go. Jeremy Doku stole the show with a goal and four assists as Manchester City cruised to a 6-1 win over Bournemouth to record their fourth straight win in all competitions. The Belgian winger opened the scoring with a stunning curled finish from the edge of the box, before laying on goals for Bernardo Silva and Manuela Kanji as the champions hit three goals in seven first-half minutes. Doku's heroics came as Erling Holland was taken off at halftime after limping down the tunnel as the whistle went, but his replacement Phil Foden was the beneficiary of another Doku assist as he finished just after the break. Luis Sinistera scored his first Bournemouth goal in a consolation to make it 4-1, but Bernardo added a fifth when he ran through and chipped Radu from another Doku pass, before former Cherries defender Nathan Ake got in on the act late on. The win for City moved Pep Guardiola's side above Premier League leaders Tottenham for a couple of hours at least, with second-placed Arsenal facing Newcastle on Saturday night football, kickoff 5.30 p.m. How City Thrashed Bournemouth City held nearly three-quarters of the possession in the first half, but the early stages of the game saw the champions act impatiently by shooting wastefully from distance. Bernardo, Rodri, and Julian Alvarez all tried their luck from range, only for all three efforts to fly over the bar. Team News Man City made four changes from last week's Manchester Derby when Jeremy Doku started ahead of Jack Grealish, Phil Foden was dropped for Mateo Kovacic, while Ruben Diaz and Josko Vardiel made way for Manuela Janji and Nathan Ake. Bournemouth started Lloyd Kelly, Max Ahrens and Marcus Tavernier, with Adam Smith, Antoine Semenyo and Justin Kluivert dropping to the bench. Midway through the first half, City stepped things up a little as Bernardo fed Alvarez down the right and his cross was hung up at the far post to Holland, whose deflected header off Lloyd Kelly struck the post. The Norwegian forward was denied by Kelly moments later as he blocked Holland's shot in the box, before Bernardo curled just wide after a short corner. Eventually, City's pressure finally produced a goal as Doku played a 1-2 with Rodri in the D before curling past Jonat Radu into the far corner. Three minutes later, it was two, as Doku was released down the right and he dazzled the home crowd and more importantly defender Chris Mepham as he entered the box with some silky footwork. The Belgian squared for Bernardo, whose first-time shot found the net. And City's work was complete on 37 minutes as another short corner saw Bernardo tee up Doku whose off-target effort from range bounced off Akanji's back and passed a hapless Radu. Holland missed two chances late in the first half to add to City's tally, not that he needed to give Ndoku's early work and he was taken off by Guardiola at halftime after limping down the tunnel. Bournemouth showed a bit more promise after the break and Dominic Solank prodded home from close range in the early moments of the second half, but the offside flag rightly went up for an offside on Ryan Christie. Solank then hit the bar from a tight angle, following Philip Billings' flick on, but then it was back to the other end for City. Mateo Kavakic blasted over from Akanji's knockdown after good work from Doku, but the Belgian winger completed his assist hat-trick moments later. Doku drove at the Bournemouth back line before feeding Foden in the box, who finished easily through the body of Radu. The Cherries' consolation came after a raft of city changes as Max Ahrens was released down the right, before he squared to Sinistera to touch, then roll a finish past Ederson. But the scoring wasn't done yet as Doku slipped Bernardo through on goal, with the midfielder chipping Radu and over the line. The ball was cleared away from Mateus Nunes to slam home and make sure, but the ball had already gone in from Silva's pass. And a sixth rounded off the scoring as substitute Rico Lewis was released down the right, before crossing for Ake to head into an empty net. What's next? Man City host young boys in the Champions League as they look to keep up their perfect start to their European campaign, on Tuesday. They then visit Chelsea in the Premier League on November 12. Bournemouth next weekend host former manager Eddie Howe, who brings his Newcastle side to the Vitality Stadium on November 11. They then visit Chef UTD after the international break on November 25. We sign out.